Hi, it's Isabel Lechave with Innovinam Academy. I'm a wine sensory scientist and a tasting coach. A few weeks back, uh, some headlines uh, caught my attention. It says that this company, Vino Taster, developed a science-backed kit to help wine lovers choose the wine style they will enjoy the most. And that's, uh, of course, captured my interest uh, to really understand what this kit was all about. So here it is. It's uh, this kit that I um, ordered online at Vino Taster, and it comes with uh, four different uh, packages, each of them having a strip. So each of them have one strip. It's, uh, you know, I can use that only once, and I want to make the experience uh, with you, the experiment with you, uh, just in front of you on this video. So, before starting, I was asked to create an account on the app of Vino Tester and follow the instruction, which I've done. And I'm going to share as I go along. Okay, it says uh, to be ready and to take my first step into the world of taste science. I will be guided to taste one strip at a time, beginning by strip one, and then two, three, and four. And I will have to keep the strip uh, sealed until prompted and do not change the order of the strips. Okay, sounds like a plan. All right, I have to leave the strips sealed until I'm prompted to use them, have a glass of water handy to cleanse my palate, of course, make sure that my hands are clean, definitely, and they are one-time use, so I cannot go back. All right, let's start. Okay, it says remove strip one. Place the strip on your tongue for four to six seconds, and then remove the strip and concentrate on the taste that I perceive. All right. Hmm. Well, Initially, I tasted paper and then something a bit bitter, and the bitterness start to pop up. It's not that bad. Okay. Next. Okay, remove strip two. Okay. I will rinse my mouth in between. Strip number two. Mm. It was sweet. It's funny because I'm so used to sweetness in a beverage, but on a paper, it seems like weird. Yeah, it's quite persisting. All right. Script number three. Mm. Oh my God. This is bad. This is very, very bitter. Oof. We need to have a break. Bitterness is very persisting. All right. Usually when we do such a test to Define if we are prop tester, we have like a candy beside us, but you no, know, I have to carry on and remove strip four. But the bitter taste is still very present in my mouth. Mm. Okay. Let's go and do strip four.
Ça, ça se perd. But maybe the bitterness of the previous sample is carrying over. So I still perceive a lot of bitterness. I didn't perceive any salty or just paper. So let's see what tells me. All right. Below are the re responses. Review and did them as needed. Okay, see the results. I'm excited. I'm a savory crusader. I contain multitudes. You need the charge for all things savory and fruit forward. Your senses are alert to the presence of rough edges and your favor smoothness in both taste and tannins. These are the recommendations. Low to moderate alcohol levels and varietals that are dry to up dry from both warm and cool climates. Beaujolais, Zinfandel, I can't disagree with that. Cabernet Franc, but it depends because if there is green note, I might not enjoy it, but I'm happy to, to try. An oak Chardonnay, definitely Viognier, absolutely. Light-bodied Riesling. Hmm, interesting. It's not too bad. All right. And then there is a bit of explanation on the science behind what I tasted. It says that I exhibit a strong expression of T2R bitter taste receptors. That means that I likely possess two functional T2R receptor genes, but are displaying moderate phenotypic expression. So I perceive bitterness at a higher intensity than average. That's very true. All right, my heightened sensitivity to bitter taste perception affords me a broad wine range experience. Okay, so that I can tolerate tannins and astringency without being overwhelmed. Well, it depends when it's very astringent. I really, I mean, I tolerate, it's not unbearable. Yes, I would prefer wines with lower tannin and astringency, definitely, because as a wine taster, I really look for flavor. Uh, complexity, not so much the dryness of the wine. It says that prior research has suggested an inverse relationship between the expression of T2R, bitter taste, and T1R, sweet taste. Coupled with an elevated T2R expression, lower expression of sweet taste receptors implies that you may have a decreased ability to detect sugar in wine. Oh, interesting. Your taste, therefore, may trend towards wines with a high sugar content to balance the perceived of bitterness or astringency of a particular wine. I might disagree with that. I will probably, what I'm looking for usually is more flavor impact, um, stronger, more intense flavors, aromas, if you will, aromatics, than sweetness. Okay, it says in some instances I can have you can have elevated T2R while bitter and sweet expression leading to an increased ability to perceive subtle differences in sweetness and the ability to tolerate wide ranges of bitterness and astringency. I think it's more like me. All right. Well, I'm quite surprised I have done a what we call a prop test and to determine if I'm a super taster, meaning you know what they describe here, if I have the two functional T2R bitter receptor genes. Um, previous tests showed that I was kind of a normal bitter taster, meaning that I'm not a super taster for that particular bitter trait expression. However, with this test, it seems that I'm on a higher range of bitterness perception. I'm very sensitive to bitterness. There is no doubt about that. All right, that was an interesting test. So again, if you want to try it, I would say I'm pleasantly surprised by the outcome and what this uh, test is recommend. This test is recommending. I indeed like every wine styles that they have recommended. So I look forward to explore more. And again, it's Vino Taster, and I will put the information where you can find it uh, below this video. Merci.